Hi everyone, glad you're with us for the show today. I am gonna have a special guest, Captain Bill Watkins along as we target speckled trout here on Sabine Lake on the Texas-Louisiana border. We're gonna show you the techniques that you can use while fishing for specks, reds, and flounder. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southwest region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. Hi folks, I'm Captain Greg Verm and I guide in Galveston and Freeport, Texas inshore and deep sea. But today, I'm fishing a body of water I've never fished before, Sabine Lake. Hey, we're here at the Causeway Bridge on the Texas side. Just a short drive over that bridge and you're in Louisiana. Today, we will be joined by full-time guide, Captain Bill Watkins targeting speckled trout with soft plastics. Hey, we're fixing to launch this beautiful Blazer Bay 2420 custom rigged by Jared and his team at Waypoint Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. We'll be using our awesome trolling motor, the Motor Guide XI-5, to keep us where we need to be as we fish for speckled trout. Also, we will have fishing reports from your local region from our team of inside reporters. But first, back to the studio for your weekend planner. Hey everybody, we have some great news. These lunar tables are indicating some of the best fishing of the month for Memorial Day weekend. Excellent game fish activity on Saturday, good activity on Sunday, and good activity on Monday. Peak daytime hours begin at 12.18 on Saturday, 1.07 on Sunday afternoon, and 1.59 on Monday. The best nighttime fishing will begin after midnight on Saturday, 12.43 on Sunday and 1.32 on Monday. You for sure want to be on the water for this three-day weekend. The sun will rise at 6.25 and set at 8.27, and evenings will have a moon that is only 1% visible. Stick around, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, I'll return with Bassmaster Elite Angler, Micah Frazier, to answer this week's Ask the Pro question. Stay with us. All right, we're fixing to launch this amazing machine, our Blazer Bay 2420, and go catch some speckled trout. Hey, the weather is nice, we have good tidal movement this morning, and we're gonna bring you with us on some open water reefs where we will be using soft plastics to target Sabine Lake specks, and then to some Louisiana marsh to try to hook into some redfish. Hey, when you see me again, I will be joined by Captain Bill Watkins, and hopefully we're catching some speckled trout here on Sabine Lake. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury. Go boldly. Lorenz, America's number one fish finder. Lose, feel the difference. And by Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Get our free fishing guide at orangebeach.com. Oh, there we go. Good job. Woo! Nice, good fish, Captain Bill. Oh, you got right one? By the boat. Oh, right there. All right, let me get the net. Good job, Captain Bill. Oh, that's a good one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nice trout. Nice trout. There we go. Oh, there we go. Good job. Woo! Nice. Good fish. Here we are. We're on Sabine Lake, ladies and gentlemen. We just got started, and that did not take long at all. Nice Third fish. Third cast, I think. Third cast. Beautiful fish there. We're on Sabine Lake. Fishing with Captain Bill Watkins with fishsabinelake.com, right? That's it. That's it. Man, I tell you, we just got started. We're going to let this girl get back in there. All right. Good fish, Captain Bill. Uh, but yeah, we're here. What, what, this area is uh, April Fool Cove. <laughs> Lighthouse Cove. Lighthouse Cove. I'm sorry. Lighthouse Cove. It, fishing it, with April's a good time to get here. April's a great time to get here. Uh, springtime fishing right now. Sabine Lake just got started. I got to catch up. We're going to go catch us another one. All right, let me get the net. 
I tell you what, this dirty water and these fish are still biting. Yep, and they'll bite and lure in dirty water. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. Oh, oh come oh, out oh. just in time. That's probably a Louisiana keeper there. That would be a Louisiana keeper. There we go. I tell you what, folks, a lot of times people don't realize in this dingy water that we got here, fish will still bite. That's a Louisiana keeper here. But we're releasing everything today. Nice little fish here. We're going to let it go. We got dirty water. We're throwing soft plastics. And even in that, a lot of times people think the water's too dirty. You need live bait. Hey, they'll still eat lures in this area. You just got to be patient, have confidence. They're picking up on that vibration. And uh, that's what we're doing today. We got some good tide movement. Looks like we got something going. We're going to get out there and get us some more. Hey, we've hit this time here in Oklahoma where you can have a lot of fun catching bass on top water in a couple of two totally different ways. One is due to the fact that now we have a lot of sunfish, a lot of minnows that are running the extreme shallows, especially the lakes that have willow grass or other types of aquatic vegetation that's coming right to the top and especially along the shorelines. Lakes like Arbuckle, Dripping Springs, and Kanawha are good for this technique right now. Go with a hollow soft plastic frog or go with a solid soft plastic frog rigged with a worm style hook and I mean throw it right on the bank. Work it in and out of that grass, work it through some of the holes in those grassy pockets. You'll have a lot of fun catching some really nice large mouth at this time. The other way is different because you're targeting open water. A lot of the fry now are starting to move across the points out in the mouths of the spawning pockets. So target the points, go with a Pop R or a Zara Spook Jr. Your chances might be better for some open water fish like smallmouth and spotted bass right now, but you also have a chance to catch a really big largemouth doing this exact same thing. Water depth isn't as critical because this technique will pull those fish up from several feet deep. The other thing is that we have a lot of sandies that are now moving back into the main lake area. So to catch those white bass, go with an inline spinner like a rooster tail. Chartreuse or white colors, I like the 1 16th ounce size. You can catch them by casting on the windy points, the windy shorelines, or also by trolling in and out of those same type of areas. A lot of fun fishing in Oklahoma where you can catch them, but you can't catch them if you don't go. There he is. It's not a real big one, but it's what we're after. Still a good trout. Nice, there we go. All right, Captain Bill, so we're here fishing with Captain Bill Watkins of FishSabineLake.com. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here, Captain Bill, with how the fish are staging the tide movement and all. Well, what's going on right now, these fish are coming out of the Gulf. They usually do in mid-spring. They'll work their way up this ship channel, and as they come up, they'll find this reef, and the bait is being pushed up on top of this reef by the, the current, the incoming tide. Trout like to be, they like to feed where the current is coming up the hill and washing over the hill. And they're looking, once they get up here on top of this hill, they're sweeping around all over that reef out there looking for something to eat. Right. And that's how it works. And uh, if the tide switches around, I go to the opposite side of the reef so that the current's coming up. And that's the key to it. Good and deal. watercolor today is kind of crummy. But what we're waiting on is for that tide to slow slightly. And when that tide slows and peaks out, the sediment will drop out a little bit. And the water clears slightly, and it doesn't have to be a whole lot. And when it clears, that's when you get your fish movement. Good deal. That's what they do. We're throwing soft plastic today. We're going to get out there and get us another one. Sabine Lake Speckled Trout. Woo! I'm telling you what, it is a fun time to get out here and do some fishing with Captain Bill Watkins. I think that's one. Oh, there we go. Right up here on the edge of this reef here. Here we go, folks. There's another nice Sabine Lake speckled trout. There we go. Got the net. See if we can't get him on in here. All right, that plum color is really working today. Plum color is working. It is. Oh, that one ate it. 
good speckled trout here. Another one. Woo! I'm telling you what, it is a fun time to get out here and do some fishing with Captain Bill Watkins. It's not very often that a couple guys like us get to fish together, but today we're getting to, and uh, we're at, we're, Captain Bill has put us on some good trout here. Having a blast fishing Sabine Lake, fishing Lighthouse Cove. That's right. We got a good hard shell bottom, four foot of water, about three and a half, four foot of water. Three and a half, four feet. Right. And uh, these fish, what are these fish feeding on right now, Captain Bill? I would imagine they're mostly feeding on baby pogey or glass minnows. Right. And uh, whatever else they can catch. Whatever. Any type of little young of the year fingerlings. Right. Uh, even baby croaker. You, when you fillet them, you'll find all kind of different things. But it's small fish right now. And so we're trying to fish smaller baits and match the hatch. There we go. We're fishing soft plastics. We got a couple boats out here. They're fishing, looks like they're fishing some live shrimp under popping corks, which is always always works good as well. But we're having a blast fishing these, fishing some soft plastics, quarter ounce lead head, soft plastics. And uh, it's doing the trick for us today. I think you can get me one of those plums now. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> Hey friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here with your Let's Fish Southwest report coming to you from Southwest Louisiana. We're going to start out talking about Toledo Bend Reservoir. Tell you what, water's come up, we've been getting a lot of rain. There are some bass getting caught early and late, still up shallow. The bass are following that new water up, but the north end of the lake is pretty dirty. Top water spinner baits seem to be the best key there. White perch, deeper, over your brush piles, live shiners, key there. Tell you what, down here, Hackberry, Louisiana, Cajun Paradise, Lots of trout and redfish getting caught when the weather's nice. If the wind blows, of course the fishing's tougher. Redfish, live shrimp under a cork, up in your shallow marshes around the points, find some moving water. Tell you what, trout all over the lake. Some birds working, trout over the oyster reefs, soft plastics like jig heads seems to be the key there. Main thing, get out fish, be safe. For Occasion Field, Captain Kevin Broussard saying happy fishing. May God bless, we're gonna see you next week. Hey everyone, Captain Greg Verm here for this week's Lower Texas Coastal Report. Hey, I just got off the phone with Captain Wayne Davis and he was on the water this morning in Port Mansfield and he said there are some giant speckled trout working pods of mullet in the back lakes over grass and the potholes. He said the water level is back on the rise, making the back lakes the place to be. K Wiggler Willowtails and Topwaters are both working and the pro tip of the week, work both of those baits real slow. Port Mansfield is hot right now for giant speckled trout. Now let's move up the coast just a bit to Baffin Bay. Captain Chris Elliott, he is a man down there and he is wearing out the speckled trout. He said two foot of water either wading or drifting with salt plastics. Captain Chris prefers the K Wiggler willow tail or the ball tails. He said the pro secret in Baffin Bay right now is concentrate your cast to the edge of where the grass bed meets the potholes good pair of polarized glasses is essential. Fishing is great right now all along the Texas coast. And if you want to get in on action up here in Freeport or Galveston and fish with me, give me a call and I would love to have you and your family aboard. Remember, we have lodging here at Bay's Landing. Give me a call, check out our websites. I'm Captain Greg Varm. I'll see you next time. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Motor Guides Tour Pro, cable steer motor with GPS anchor, Waypoint Marine, the Gulf Coast's leading saltwater boating specialist, Strike King, Taiwan On, and by Low Boats. Welcome to Low Country. Having a great time on Sabine Lake. Looky there, folks. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Like there he is. Oh yeah, there we go. I got one. All right, folks, welcome back. Moved areas over here. Fish a little bit more. More. I think I may have a redfish. Swapped areas a little bit. Still throwing some soft plastic. Yep. There we go. Old rubber lip. There we go. Sabine Lake. My first ever Sabine Lake redfish right there. All right. There we go. There 
There we go. He hit it right. He ate it right when it hit the water. We're still fishing soft plastics. We swapped areas a little bit from where we were at before. This this area here, what kind of bottom do we have here, Captain Bill? It's a mud shell bottom, clam and, and oyster shell mixed. So you got, uh, it's not too soft a mud, but it's kind of a, a mostly a shell bottom. Beautiful redfish here. And that's a keeper in Louisiana. That's, that's, a, that's a Louisiana keeper there, but we're not keeping fish today, so we're gonna, we're gonna turn it loose. That fish hit it, I mean, right, there we go. He was ready to go back swimming. He was ready. He hit it probably about 10 foot off that bank. I mean, right when it hit the water there. So that's my first ever Sabine Lake redfish. That makes me kind of excited there. See if I can't get us another one. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Lone Star Lakes brought to you once again by Fort Worth Fishing, Dallas Fort Worth's premier crappie guide service serving several lakes in the North Texas area. Now this week we're going to start back out west again in the panhandle, Lake Meredith. Now a few years ago Meredith was almost empty due to the drought and the lake is still not completely full, but the fishing has made a fantastic comeback, especially something we don't see a lot of in Texas, the walleye. Now you're going to want to fish for these much like you do a smallmouth bass, that is early in the morning use things like your hard jerk bait, three treble hooks on a hard jerk bait in a no um, chrome and blue, chrome and black, maybe even a fire tiger color, or use a hair jig. That's why the fish are up shallow. Once they get a little deeper, you'll want to use slabs. And I have it on good authority that if you'll hang a little piece of earthworm off that slab, you'll get even more action. Now over at Cedar Creek Lake, the crappie have made their transition to the boat docks. You'll be shooting those boat docks, that is, bow your rod, shoot that jig up under that dock to get it way back in there. Use your colors like your chartreuses or your yellows or even a blue and a cinnamon type color. Those will work for those Cedar Creek crappie. That's been this week's Lone Star Lakes, once again brought to you by Fort Worth Fishing. Be sure and check us out on Facebook, Lone Star Lakes. There he is. All right. Woo! Oh yeah, we got a better one here. All right, I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of walking around the boat here. Clear the deck. Clear the deck. Let's go. All right, man, we are hitting this shoreline. Looks like I think I got a good redfish here. Oh yeah, trolling down the down the shoreline here. Boy, there's nothing like that thump of that redfish closing the mouth. Oh yeah, keep on going, baby. <laughs> Man, we got a good one on here, folks. This is fun stuff. Sabine Lake redfish right here. All right, woo! There we go. How about that? Beautiful fish here. Beautiful fish. Let's get this. Man, I don't know how long that fish is. It's like about a 26, 27. That's a tournament fish there at least. Good tournament fish. But we're not fishing a tournament today. We're, me, me and Captain Bill Watkins are out here having a great time on Sabine Lake. Looky there, folks. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Nice. All right. We're going to let you go, buddy. I told you we're going to let you go. There we go. I'll give you a little kiss real quick. Mwah. All right. Go on over there. All right. There we go. Good stuff there. I tell you what, these fish, we're catching them on soft plastics today. I've thrown a top water a little bit today. Didn't really do much good. The soft plastic seems to be working. Swapped over to a little different color. Let me let me go over some things when we're fishing with these soft plastics. You know, 95% of the time the fish is going to hit the hit it on the fall, and you're just going to feel that pretty much at thump. Usually, what you're going to feel that's the fish closing its mouth around that bait. Mix up your retrieve a little bit. You know, Captain Bill and I are doing a little bit different things and seeing what works. Sometimes a pop pop, let it drop. Pop pop, let it drop and then reel up your slack. When you're popping it up, you, you stop your reel, okay? And then you just reel down to the slack, pop, pop, 
let it back down. And then sometimes just a throw it out and just a slow, steady retrieve, let it, letting it bump along the bottom. Sometimes that works best. And there's even times you throw it out there and the fish are schooling real good and you just take it out there and rip it. And then a lot of times when you're ripping it, and then just stop and let that bait fall and that's gonna trigger that, trigger that strike. So always swap stuff up, try different things. You just never know what's gonna work. You gotta mix it up and uh, you're gonna catch more fish if you do it like that. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Bobby Garland Crappie Baits and the original Baby Shad and new slab Huntar Minnow. Place your glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Balls out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. And by Camus Boats. Tomorrow's tournament boat today. Welcome back, everyone. Let's get right to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Sawyer wants to know, what is your best tip for driving a boat in big waves? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler, Micah Frazier. I think just being patient is crucial because, you know, sometimes you can get going too fast and you may come over a wave and, and nose dive into the next one. So, if it was, you know, my, my best advice is just to take it slow, try to keep the nose of the boat up, um, find, find the angle you need to approach the waves and uh, try to stay at that angle as much as you can. That, that might mean sometimes you have to zigzag to get where you're going, but uh, if the waves are big enough, sometimes you can't just draw a straight line and go right where you want to go. Thank you, Micah. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit a question. Now it's time to find out who wins this week's Big Catch of the Week. This week's winner in the Big Catch of the Week contest is Tucker Kendall of Cisco, Texas with a 10.2 pound largemouth he caught on Lake Cisco. To enter the contest, go to our website at letsfishtv.com and follow the instructions on the homepage or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash letsfishtv and see our Big Catch post from any Tuesday and follow the instructions there. You and your big fish could be seen on our show. Hi folks, I'd like to share the gear that I was using today to catch the fish that you saw us catch. Today I was using 30 pound braid and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I attached the two using a uni knot. This is a really cool knot to use. We're going to put that diagram for you up on the screen. Now on the end of the line, I like to use a quick twist clip. It makes it easy for swapping baits in and out quickly. Swap out from a soft plastic to a top water or a swim bait. We're also using eighth ounce and quarter ounce lead heads. And today's favorite bait was a down south soft plastic. We swapped up the colors a little bit, just it didn't, plum was working good and this one was also working good. That's a down south soft plastic. Use this gear and you're gonna catch more fish on any body of water, whether speckled trout, redfish, or flounder. I really hope you enjoyed the show today and learned something about Sabine Lake. There are so many great fisheries here along the Texas-Louisiana Gulf Coast and lots of great redfish, specks, and flounder to be caught. Hey, if you want to fish the upper coast in Galveston or Freeport, give me a call or check out my website and I would love to take you fishing. Until next time, tight lines, I'm Captain Greg Varm and I will see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more fishing tips, how-to videos, big fish catches, and full episodes of our Let's Fish TV show, be sure to subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Good fishing out there.